Welcome back, Saints Nation, to this beautiful Saturday. To, today we got some uh, CFL North qualifier playoffs. I am your host, Theo, known as the Holy Juan, joined by uh, Jordan today. And we're going to be looking to an exciting matchup. We got our Saints going up against Carlton, and it should be something to look forward to. Absolutely. Looking for a good game today. Our Saints, who are ra ranked fourth so far in Collegiate Valorant across North America, doing great. Going up against a new squad, the JV Black squad for Carleton University. And here we can see the power rankings. As we can see, our St. Clair Varsity is in fourth. And actually, our academy team is in 20th here. So both both of our teams in the top 20 here on the power rankings doing a great job. Um, so it should be quite an exciting match today. Yeah, our Saints have been so strong all seasons in every single league. You can see climbing the power rankings throughout the season. So they've been playing very, very well this year and uh, definitely going to try and win this qualifier. They don't want to show anyone that they're someone to play with. They're going to be one of the top teams in collegiate for, uh, for a long time, I feel like, with the way yes. that things are shaping up. And I'm just excited to see more of this team. Absolutely. And first round of the playoffs here, quite a bit of a run to go. We got a 32 round pl or 32 team uh, playoff here. So a little bit of a travel, as we can see, we got the bracket here. So we are, are going to see that a couple different, a lot of different teams uh, that we have played against in the past. Our Saints Academy team is going to be going up against the mm -hmm. Mizu Club team there. And then we could see some other of the top teams there, like Northwood, Maryville, and then there are St. Clair Saints Varsity going against Carleton University. And if they win today, they will be taking on the winner of Clark Pride or Kansas Esports, which will be an interesting match as well and will be tomorrow, actually. Yeah, it will be tomorrow. It's one game a day, I believe, and then it translates uh, the deeper you go. I think it's going into Monday and finals are on Tuesday, if I'm not wrong. And it is single Elium you lose once you're out of the qualifiers. So our Saints don't want to play any risky games. We're going to try and win this one in dominating fashion. And they're going to be playing the winner against of Clark. And uh, I forgot the other team already. But they're going to be playing an uh, interesting matchup. I'm not too sure about either of those teams. But probably the winner is going to be a strong team. So Saints are going to have to keep the foot on the gas pedal and not let it off. Absolutely. The competition only gets harder as you advance through that bracket. But Saints have been in these kind of situations before having advanced very far in many different leagues many different championships um taking some medals home even so they know what it's like when the competition gets tougher and they know how to adapt as they do even in the games today so against carlton university if they see something a little bit different they know what to do to kind of change that and speaking of today's game, we got kind of an interesting map list. We're going to be starting off on Lotus, and then we're going to be going to Split and Sunset. So a little bit of a different mix-up than what we normally see. Yeah, I mean, uh, Lotus is a map we see sometimes. Some teams are good on it, others aren't. A lot of teams that aren't good on it try to avoid it, but our Saints are very strong on Lotus, so they'll be happy to play that Split. Everybody knows Split, I feel like. It's an old map. All, all the teams know all the strategies now, but still try and innovate. And Sunset's one of the newer maps, so it's if it, if it goes to Game 3, which I don't think our Saints are going to want to let that happen, but if it does go to that, it would be interesting to see how it plays out there. Absolutely, and like you said, Sunset, that new map. Still a lot of teams trying to figure out the best plays for it, but our Saints have probably been practicing quite heavily on that, so that way they in the chance it goes to a game three against this team or any other team, they will have the edge. And like you said, split, classic map, been around since the beginning. Everybody knows all the strats, what to do. Should be seeing some pretty standard metas when it comes to how the Saints play today. Yeah, and um, I'm going to be interested in seeing if we're going to see a bit more Cypher picked up as uh, after the last patch, he got buffed and teams have been trying him out left and right. So could be an interesting agent to pick up so good on that defense. Going to be interesting to see what we can get there. Uh, what, do you, what are you expecting? What's your prediction for this matchup? Um, well, seeing as our Saints here are one of the top teams in the power rankings, at least, um, should expect to hopefully see a 2-0 domination. The other team here, Carleton University, they do actually have about five or six teams, if I'm not mistaken. So this JV Black Squad is a newer team. Ha might not have had the most time to play together, so could see a couple of communications and misplays on their side. But 
as far as we could tell, we don't really know much about them, so it could be interesting. But I'm expecting a 2-0 victory here for the Saints today. Yeah, and this is our ranking. You can see we are peaking currently. This is the best our Saints team has ever been with a record of 30 wins and 16 losses. So very, very strong here. They've been, you could see the, it went down a little bit, but now it's been spiking pretty heavily. So our Saints are at the top of their game at this moment and they're going to look to show it there. That's a very, very cool stat to see. You could see in the middle a bit of a, a, <laughs> bit of a rough patch there. Absolutely. Probably a big... Uh, teams shuffle there towards those dips uh this year our saints varsity team has had a lot of huge roster changes brought on a, quite a few new guys to come help us out and clearly it has been working as we have now peaked in our rank um per se but yes we got some incredible people on the team we got smiley tillo giza some newer names to this team that have really come in and helped push the squad um to its best and then we've also got some of the guys that have been around for a while like mzu caillou just doing a great job and obviously our co our coaching hybrid otherwise no otherwise owen doing a great job as always uh always in a good mood and knows how to keep the team up and going yeah yeah as you said coaching also needs to get some shout out because he, owen has done so much for this team working so hard as and all the players as well mm -hmm. to to become one of the powerhouses in collegiate valorant so yeah you can see the roster there a lot of a lot of very good players picked up uh this the, for this season and they've been able to gel perfectly so uh happy for them and hopefully they can keep the ball rolling and just take over collegiate valorant Mm -hmm. And as we can see on the side here, we actually have some of our past records in previous tournaments and leagues. We do see that last year, or this past semester, I should say, yeah. uh, in the CECC regionals qualifiers, we actually placed first. So Saints are probably going to look to recreate that magic here in these qualifiers. And in the finals, fifth to eight. Eight or fifth to eighth in the bracket. So kind of ended the run a little bit earlier than they'd hoped, but. Getting up to that high spot is always something nice. And then as we can see, uh, Varsity Premier in the Nice Star League taking second overall in the spring 2023. Doing a great job and they're hoping to just keep getting better and maybe take the W in this in the inevitable tournament that will come after these qualifiers. Yeah, absolutely. This is just a qualifier. I don't think they are uh, nervous at all for this qualifier. I think they're pretty confident in themselves that they can take this one down. But as you said, after that is the CCC tournament. That's the big one. That's the one that all the teams, all the best teams are going to be headed mm -hmm. to. And that's going to be a, a, f a lot of good Valorant to watch because uh, as the game gets older, people begin to get better and better. And just the way that people start playing the game, it just... It's amazing, so hopefully our Saints are up to par with the best of the best, but they need to focus on today, they need to focus on now. They can't get too ahead of themselves and just say, guys, we're not playing maybe the best team, maybe we don't we don't try as hard. No, you need to go on 100%, get these wins as quick as possible, and have a good time as well. Absolutely, give a chance to show these other teams too what they're going to be up against. If they take a nice, quick 2-0 victory, It'll really set the tone for how they're going to play in the rest of these qualifiers, which obviously is a huge mentality thing going into other games, right? Valorant, as well as CSGO and many other games, momentum throughout many different games can be hard to carry, but our Saints have done a good job at always rolling through and keeping positive as much as they can. Yeah, and uh, we're going to be going into games soon. Let's talk about what what team comp we're going to see. What do you think the Saints are going to pull out on the first map? Well, I think, especially since you don't really get to change agents halfway through the game, like Overwatch and Rainbow Six, you know, they got to stick with those same agents. So making sure you kind of pick those, that, those metas and those perfect compositions is always important. I think seeing Caillou on that sky is always inevitable. It's just his go-to pick, and he just does incredible every single time. We'll probably get to see uh, if we're going up onto Haven or Lotus first. Probably going to see uh, either Omen or Astra as the smokes option there. Um, they do just have the most kind of versatility, especially with how big the map is. Yeah, I think we will see Omen. I think we might see a Viper as well. Mm -hmm. A very strong pick there. And for the Duelist, either a Raze or a Jet yep. should be fine. And maybe even a Chamber in there as the fifth one. 
It could be anything, you know, could be a cypher as we talked about. Right. So, so usually we'll see uh, Kildra as well. Usually Kildra is a very, very strong pick. But mm -hmm. speaking of those cypher changes, let's talk about him for a second. His trap wire got some big buffs. Yeah. His time to concuss has been halved to one and a half seconds. And after someone uh, gets hit by the trap, if they don't destroy it, it's going to rearm and it's going gonna, it's gonna to stun yet again. So... A very very big buff there. Also, the uh, the slow is increased to two seconds from 0 0.75. So getting hit by those traps are basically certain death at this level of play. Yeah, and speaking of the rearming too, like 0 0.5 seconds to rearm is incredibly quickly. If they're not taking out that tripwire right away, you can just send another player in to get concussed. And the tripwires here have obviously kind of Cipher's main gadget for watching the rotates or kind of setting up different uh, spots to trap people who have to come on and off to site. Um, it's just going to be absolutely fatal if somebody brings them in today and especially finds those kind of interesting spots where they can hide it without it being seen. And as for the rest of his util, having those uh, cages and his camera have always been helpful for getting onto site, protecting site, and since he has no kind of max range for how far or how far or close he has to be from them, um, he can be very useful, especially on Lotus being, again, how big it is. Um, a three-site map, and the only three-site map our Saints are going to see today. Yeah, and uh, after saying all that, uh, you know, the Cypher hasn't been meta for a long time as well. A lot of these agents have been meta, like Sky, Jet, Omen. You could play all those agents for, like, the past, as long as you can remember. They were always yeah. playable, the Jet, the Rays. Cypher was usually... Never seen, and now he's mm -hmm. getting picked up more and more, so teams have to adjust playing against him, playing the traps in the right spots, figuring out so many different strategies you could do with him. So it's going to be interesting to see yet again, as we said, the Cyphers. It's going to be uh, either a very strong pick or won't do much at all. Right, and although he won't be uh, able to use for a couple more weeks in the competitive scene, we got the new agent, Iso, yeah. uh, who is kind of a very all-around versatile agent right now and may even be able to also come in and shake up compositions once he's available for play yeah it would be interesting here is the new agent uh pretty pretty cool the judge got some nerves i think it was a oh it's the yes the magazine nerve. was yeah, reduced not the biggest deal it is what it is because see also there were changes to fate rays and sky so uh a pretty pretty interesting patch uh, shook up the meta a little bit, but mm -hmm. just not the biggest changes. I think for the judge, not the biggest deal, the magazine size. But the uh, the agent uh, buffs and nerfs were pretty interesting. Absolutely. Valorant did kind of go all out for this new chapter, kind of looking at where some agents were falling behind. Like you said, Cypher just wasn't being picked up in those uh, compositions for when teams were thinking of who is the most useful right now. And now that they've given him kind of more utility per se, um, he should be seeing a lot more action there. Um, as for the Fade, Raise, and Sky, not much really got changed to them except how their uh, utility interacts with Cypher's tripwires. Um, they aren't as disastrous for it they won't be taking out those trip wires right away they have a very small hitbox when it comes to passing through those but those sky flashes still still uh, haunt my nightmares <laughs> hearing that bird fly around and one of these days they're going to ch change those birds to probably get nerfed eventually uh you could say i mean i think it's a pretty good spot. Obviously, it's hard to dodge out the flashes, but at the highest level, the mm -hmm. players have their reaction timing. As soon as they hear anything, they look away. So mm -hmm. that's that's hopefully what we're going <laughs> to see from our Saints. You know, when they see the flash, just don't look right at it. Flick away. We've seen it so many times, and I'm sure we'll see it many times today as uh, it's going to be interesting. Uh, absolutely. And although uh, we are looking for a pretty dominating game from here from the Saints, I will say Lotus and... Uh, Haven as well, the three site maps, our Saints have always kind of seemed to falter a little bit on yeah. them. They can be very attacker sided maps, uh, so depending on which side uh, they start on, um, it can be kind of more or less in their favor. But uh, hopefully, our Saints have kind of overcome the three site weakness that they've had for a while and are ready to play today. Absolutely. And with all that being said, we're going to throw it to a very, very quick break, but the game should be starting in a very, very short time. We'll see you right after this.
Welcome back, everybody, and we are getting underway. We have agent select. Let's see what both teams are going to pick up. Saints locking in that Viper and Omen straight away, and the side of Carlton have only locked in the Killjoy so far. So, uh, looking like pretty similar team comps. Instinct hovering the Neon there. Very interesting. Over the, is that the new agent? Yes, Iso there. I'm not sure if he's available to use. Doesn't look like it. He is going to lock in the Neon now. Kind of an interesting duelist pick there. Yeah, it's uh, it's off meta to say the least, but I think Saints are feeling very, very good about themselves, so they're going to throw in a few uh, strategies that maybe Carlton is just not ready for. And we're going to be going into the game. I'll go over the comps one more time. Carlton got Viper, Omen, Sky, Killjoy, and Rays, and the side of St. Clair have... Viper, Omen, Killjoy, Neon, and Sky. So the only difference is the Neon and the Rays. Absolutely. I guess they're going to choose two different duelists. So we'll see which duelist will come out on top here. And as we get underway, first two pit or first two rounds, always super crucial. Uh, not only for economy, but setting the tone for the rest of the match. You want to be able to take these uh, pistol rounds very swiftly as to make some good money and kind of get those extra point, easy points up on the board. Without a doubt, and the Saints are going to be on the attack, on the attack side of the map, so going to get try to get off to a very, very hot start. Looking like might be going for a bit of a default play, They're sending three members A and two people to peak C. Carlton are going to three stack A and two stack C, nobody even on B side other than Killjoy. Util, so let's see what we can get down round one. It's going to be a firefight early. Saints are playing very, very slow. The side of Carlton are looking to press up with that raise nade, but don't find anything. I don't know if they have any idea that the Saints are there, and they might get overzealous here. We see the Omen and Raze pushing up pretty far. Instinct, though, with this Ghost sitting in the corner here. It's going to be very slow play from both teams, but the Saints are going to start their push right now. This Omen is stuck in this Viper, so do they have any ideas here? He is stunned up, and there's going to be a pick coming out onto Inkstead from Dive. A nice shot there, but Giza is going to take out Ellis, and out to 4v4. Nice shot through the smoke by Giza, finds two, and sh this should open up the site for the side of the Saints, but they're going to hesitate a little bit and maybe look to rotate out. A bit indecisive from them, but being up a player, off to a very good start. The Viper utility, obviously a huge factor there. Um, bringing the Omen's health down from the Decay. And those Viper Walls just are perfectly set up for the Saints to try and enter site easily. We can see the Saints actually have their set up towards C, so maybe that is the inevitable play is to make their way over there. But they are going to creep up to B here. Arctic kind of waiting in Nest, just going to wait slowly for them. We're going to see some of the Saints are going to split, and they're going to actually push in from the side over here. And now we get our push onto site as everybody's figuring out where this spike is going to be going. Alarm bot's being triggered from the KJ. She knows exactly where everyone's going to be. Kiko's going to try to look around this corner. He's going to start the plant, but he's going to be quickly taken out by Kiko. Just traded out by Caillou. Juice World's going to pick up a double there on Attilo and Caillou, and now this leaves just Steven in a 1v1 situation now as he finds Arctic. Just him and Sky. All that's left, but he's unfortunately out of time, and defenders take this round one. Yeah, Carlton able to take the first round, uh, the Sky there, finding two picks on the side of Carlton. Juice World making a huge play there, and Saints being a bit indecisive after getting those first two picks, decide not to push the A site, try and go into the Kildra Util, and it makes it really hard for them. They're going to be forced to save up here. All going to buy the Sheriff since they did get that plant down, got a bit of extra money, but Carlton off to a very, very good start. Not what our Saints want to see uh, for the start of this game. Absolutely. Have to save here for a little bit, try to get those Vandals for the next round, but we are going to see a B push again, and it seems like they are a little more confident with it. B pushes aren't typically something you see a lot here on Lotus, as it's not very favored by most players, but apart from the Killjoy utility, they almost got the site completely to themselves. Birds oh! Are, wow, Giza with an incredible headshot there on a dive, flipping the script and saying, no, I will take the first pick this round. Arctic's gonna spray down and try to see if he can find anybody. He's gonna be get, get stunned and taken out by instinct there, and Saints will start to put the plant down. It's huge. They could get a thrifty here. The second round would be a very dominant way to answer pack. Now you can see them playing with a bit more confidence. They just find one, two picks, get onto that site and get the plant down. That's what you want to see if you're attacking on this map, having so many options. That's a 3v5. 
Juice World's gonna find Tello though, playing a bit aggressive on that Viper, maybe too aggressive. Gets the Sky down to 1 HP, however, so it's gonna be hard for the side of Carlton to take this one back. There's gonna be the Flash coming out, but Steven's on the flank and he's finding two. It is just this Viper left on the site. Is he gonna be able to find the clutch? I don't believe he will be. He's gonna look for the swing. He's gonna find a headshot onto Steven, but he will get taken out as Inkstein was flying at him with his knife. And just like that, the Saints able to get a Thrifty with those save. With the save round, and now looking in a very, very good spot, Carlton have no money to spend. Perfectly played there. Even with the lesser valued guns, those Sheriff headshots, they made them count there. Finding a couple heads, easy one taps. It's what our Saints are here to do. And Steven still has his tidy head. He's currently four kills on the board, doing a great job. He had a big flank there in the last round that led to a double kill. And now the Saints will probably look to recreate some of that magic as they are going to make their way up the B again. But we've got two of oh my Carlton goodness. pushing up. Instinct going to find two there on Dive and Ellis taking B site very quickly. And we should see Spike go down very soon. I mean, the Saints know Carlton don't have weapons. They just flash, run in there with the Neon. That's how you want to play when you have the Neon. Just get in there, get those stuns in, find those first picks. Finds two there, Instinct. Taylor finds one as well. Instinct knows there's one here. Juice World gets a pick onto Taylor. It's going to be one HP here. Huge by the dog to your left. Oh. Instinct, oh, he's not going to check the corner, but Steven is able to get a straight. And now it's a 1v3 for Juice World. Finds one. Now it's a 1v2 situation. Saints maybe getting a bit too confident, but Steven's able to close it out with his fifth kill of the game, I believe. And just like that, Saints take a 2-1 lead, but did lose a couple members. Still pretty healthy on economy, however, so they will be able to afford another full buy. Absolutely. Carlton, however, though, if they want to buy up fully here, they are going to have to use almost all of their money, all of them being less than a 1,000 credits now. Not going to be looking good for them going in the next couple rounds if they can't find the win here. However, Saints now, like you said, that Neon just got to run in there and get the job done and just keep it going and it looks like they're going to set up for a more of a C play but Viper Tillo using the utility up towards A to try and possibly throw them off. We are going to see Kiko tr push up there. It seems that he is aware that some of the Saints are making their way towards C but how many he doesn't know quite yet. Going to kind of fake that ult orb there see if he can get him to peek out. No dice. He's just going to sit back and wait here both or Carlton playing it slow, not wanting to make any dumb pushes. But it is a 4v1 on that A side, Saint, uh, on the C side. Saints are gonna choose to rotate out of there, make their way over to A as Viper has made the way up A just a little bit. It's gonna be a solo kill join now on this A side. Omen gonna TP in there, get a, some info, and he's gonna stay there. Knows it's only Arctic on the site now. Saints should look to look for the stun. Doesn't get the stun. Arctic's gonna be looking for a pick here, but it's gonna get taken down by Inkstein. That should be the site for the side of the Saints. The plant is gonna go down, and the Saints are looking very, very good in this round. Carlton are gonna have to come back from their spawn. Three members are up here. Inkstein's gonna have to go massive here. Has the ultimate, has no util. Caillou finds one. Onto Juice Soul, taking out that Sky, making it a 5v3 scenario. It's a nice one tap there from Dive, though. Takes out Caillou, and now it's a 4v3 for the side of the Saints. Do they have any idea that the race has gotten down here? I'm not too sure, but Tillo is holding it. He's going to go back up to main. Steven now knows where they are. Instinct finding two up there. And it's going to be just Atlas left. Finding two great headshots there. Now in the 1v1 scenario, Steven, though, will be able to close it out. Some nice shots from both teams there. But in the end, Saints are able to take it down and take a 3-1 lead. Perfectly played by the Saints there. Baiting out the C push and getting most of Carlton to move to that side of the map was an incredible play at the beginning there and then inevitably going to A and getting the spike down very quickly. Kind of threw a couple kills away there at the end, almost set Steven up for a little bit of failure there in the 1v1, but he was confident himself and still without a death in this game yet. He now is just piling through, having already used an ult so quickly in this game. As we get underway, Saints are making a strong push here on A, not wasting any time as they get up towards the rotating door here. Looks like Killjoy is going to sit back there for a little bit and wait to see if anybody tries to flank. Saints now get in the door. Arctic's going to be ready to meet him, but Tillo is ready with a Vandal and a nice headshot to get him out of here quickly. Caillou going to scope the site out to see. He's going to realize nobody's on the site, and this should open up a perfect spike up planting opportunity for the Saints. Instinct using Neon to the fullest. Does he hear him go down ramp? Not quite. Dive going to be taken out by Tillo, though, as he looks just a little too close to the right. And now... Spike is being planted, and Saints are going to dominate this site as Giza finds another. 
they're all on the flank here. Juicewell does get one, but it's going to be a P coming up from Caillou, finding the last two members there. And the Saints, with the gun advantage, yet again are able to take this round, looking to run away with it here. This is going to be a big, important round as the side of Carlton can finally fall by. But if they drop this round, this game's going to get blown wide open. The Saints looking so good on this attack. Steven is yet to die in five rounds, just playing the safe game, finding the picks when he needs to, not getting over aggressive. That's how you're supposed to play the smoke. So great gameplay coming out from him. And it looks like Saints are going to be setting up a bit of a default play. Maybe might rush that B side again, but the side of Carlton this time have weapons to defend themselves. Absolutely. A couple ults in the pocket there. We got the Sky ult, of course. And it looks like Instinct is going to pop the Neon ult and try to find some picks right away. They have already oh. taken B side Caillou. Perfect spray through the smoke there as he finds Ellis. And Sink gonna wait up by this nest area. Does he know that a couple are coming? But Caillou's gonna tell him exactly what's going on. He knows where they're going. A couple of the swarm are gonna come out. Steven gonna find a pick on the Arctic there. Does he know dives? He's gonna TP away. Avoid inevitable danger and all the rest of Carlton is gonna try to push and retake the site. But Instinct now ready to find Akiko here on the side. Not just, not quite finding him, but dives gonna find Caillou and Giza gonna find Juice World. Instinct is going to find Kiko and dive at the end there and Saints take yet another round. I think the Saints were a bit unhappy that they might have lost that first round. Now playing so, so dominant, not giving up a single inch of space and able to take that 5-1 lead. Carlton are going to try and force up this round with a couple of Guardians, a couple of Vandals. But Aikio, Aikiko, I don't know, Aikiso is not able to buy anything too expensive, gets the Stinger. No, we're gonna buy the Bulldog, so they're gonna full send this one. This is basically like a last, last breath of opportunity type of play from Carlton. They can win this round. They can bring this half back. Back if not, the Saints are gonna look to run away with it. We're gonna see maybe another B push, but this time Carlton playing very aggressive and able to find one, getting down some low HP. But they do have Sky to heal them up, and in the end, a very good start for them. They also have Instinct on one HP on that Neon, so Saints are gonna have to really fight hard to win this round back. Taking Caillou out is huge there. That's a lot of Sky Utility gone, and fortunately, Instinct won't be able to heal at all. But Giz is going to push in, try to find a Kiko here. He is oh, going to find shot. the headshot. Perfectly played there. Ellis holding this B. Does he know that all the Saints are wrapping behind him? Tillo going to find Arctic there. And now they have A site to themselves for the plant. Viper Pit's going down too now. And all the ults are almost out on the board. We just got Killjoys left in the pocket are gonna see the spike go down here inside the Viper Pit. Perfect way to hold it as Dave Dive finds Giza there at the, at the back of spawn. Yeah, this is gonna be a very good Viper ult from the side of the Saints. Instinct is on one HP. It's gonna be on Steven here to maybe swing out wide, find a pick or two. That's good shots there onto Ooh. Juice World. Instinct's able to find one, and Steven finds one as well. Now it's a 3v1 for the side of the Saints. They know exactly where the Omen is. Steven with a great jump peek there. He's gonna look to push here, but Steven yet again finding the better of Elias. And just like that, the Saints take a 6 1 lead and looking to make this a way bigger one in this first half. They are just absolutely running away with this game, and shocker here. Here comes the timeout. Carlton really needs to use this timeout to their advantage and try to figure out where are we going wrong? What do we need to do? As far as we know, St. Clair College is dominating this first half and look to run away with it in the next coming round, seeing as there are only uh, five more rounds left. Or six, yeah five more rounds left in this half so they need to possibly win all of these here to even tie up with the rest of the Saints otherwise Saints are gonna have a huge advantage going into that defending half I mean it is an attack sided map and attackers are expected to win most of the rounds on their attacking side so it could just be the Saints mm -hmm. having a great strategy for this map figuring it out but uh, they're just finding the kills as well like even losing Caillou there in that last round first Able to find a couple picks here and there, get onto the site, and they're just playing so well as a team, using the Utah perfectly, hitting those shots. It's very, very fun to watch, and they are playing very well right now. Carlton just can't seem to slow them down. Absolutely, and most importantly, they can't seem to slow Steven down as he is just on a roll this game, about to load up his second ult of the game already. He hasn't died yet. He hasn't died yet. He is 10-0-3. His ult is ready, and that is a 7-0 point ult if I'm not mistaken for Omen so to have already gotten 14 ult points is just absolutely incredible for the side of the Saints here we do see that Killjoy ult is ready and that is a perfect way to try and get on the site. Uh, 
Yeah, and we're gonna see Dive pushing here with the Razor. We're probably gonna see it come out here, even though it is a safe round. The side of Charlton playing very aggressive, but Saints, they're gonna say, all right, you guys can push us. Giza will go down, but the Saints are full rushing A. It's gonna be all onto Arctic to find a pick or two here. Can he find a single shot? Oh my Ooh. goodness, Foley Blind does find one. Finds a shot onto Instinct as well, but it's gonna be three, four now Saints. Still have the weapon advantage, but it's gonna be all four members on this flank. They see the sky flash coming out, and they're gonna flip the map a little bit. We're gonna see the omen ult as well come in. I wonder where that one's gonna go. Oh, I think he can hear all of them on the flank now. We're gonna see the raise ult coming out, and Charlton now need to win this round. It's a lot of util used out. We're gonna see another satchel coming out. Is he gonna fire it into that corner? Yes, he will. Kaiyu's gonna peek right into it as Juice will finds one as well. And it's gonna be all onto Steven. He finds one. Oh, Inkston. It was onto Inkston. He found one, but was not able to find the rest. And that's a thrifty for Carlton. That time out really paid off. Absolutely, and these two members left here, Akiko and uh, and Dive, are going to be able to pick up some good weapons to save a little bit of their own economy going forward. That will be a big help, but Saints on the other side, not too worried right now. They can spend as much as they want and still have a bunch left over here. But that timeout seemed to work on the side of Carlton. They kind of figured out something they need to do going forward, and they're going to push that into here as they have picked up their second round of the match so far. Looks like Saints are going to make a little bit of a C push here. Might be one of them fake ones, but we are going to see the Viper pick go down to block off that B push. Kind of an interesting spot for it, but it does take away a whole sight off this map as long as uh, Akiko can stay in there and stay safe. I'm surprised the Saints aren't just rushing A again. It could be such a good play, but they want to brute force their way into C. It's going to be a great flash coming out there. Instinct is going to look to find one. He finds all three. He gets a kill, but gets taken out by the nade. Dive. Bit of martyrdom there. Caillou, though, finds the omen, and this should be a bit of space for the Saints to work with. Viper is still on B in the, inside of her ultimate, but could even push up mid. Look for the flank here. Are we going to see it? Would be a very, very dangerous play. No. Going to choose to you maybe should let's see what's going to happen. It's going to be a big flank coming out here. And, oh, I think he gets the perfect timing as oh, it looks away at the worst time. Is he going to be able to find anything on this flank? He should be able to find at least one. The Saints have zero idea that this could be even be a possibility. And this round's going to be all IKO. Aiki, so Aiki, I have no idea how to say his <laughs> name, but he's going to have to go huge in this round, but the Sky ult is going to spot him out. Now the Saints know exactly where he is. Juice World's going to look for a flash of his own, but he's going to get tapped to the head as soon as he looks over. They know that he's on the flank here with the Vandal, the Viper. The Saints aren't turning around, however. Nobody seems, oh, now they know he's there. They hear him, they see the head, but oh. it's nice. Two shots from Cotton, but Giza's gonna take him out. It's gonna be just the Killjoy now in the 1v2 situation, and Giza finding some very nice shots there to finish off the round. The Saints, when they need to most, take back that round and look to, to uh, finish off this half in a very, very strong manner. Absolutely, and on the side of Carlton now, we are gonna see a little bit of a save and buy round here. It uh, looks like Dive was considering that operator for a little bit, but gonna opt to just go for the Vandal here. The rest of the team will have to save and pull out some sheriffs to try and find some easy one taps. Looks like they aren't quite sure what they want to go with yet. Go. Kiko gonna pull out that bulldog since he's also quite loaded in the credits. Saints able to full buy as per usual, and here we go. Quick A push, it's looking like. And Saint gonna get right in there with the neon. Nobody's actually on site, so they could get there very quickly. We're gonna see, t or not Tilo, sorry. We're gonna see. The Killjoy kind of sit back and wait, try to find those flanks, and not let Carlton's Viper do what he was able to get in as far as he was go last. Time. And they should be able to take B for free here. The side of Carlton and just give it up. As uh, Giza's gonna go down, however, but Inkstein's gonna take out a lot, as we said. Carlton are on a bit of a save round, so they don't have all the weapons to work with. They get the plant down, 40 seconds left for Carlton to get into B side and defuse it. The Saints still have so much util. A lot of members are going to be up there. Oh my god, there's the flash and the race flying through in. It's going to be just a bait, but Steven finding two. There's going to be the last one. He's ah, finding one onto Steven, but it's going to go down, and Saints very, very swiftly are able to take an A2 lead in this half. Just an incredible lead to have. They are only five rounds away from victory here and still going so strong. 
They have the Neon already again. They can be a very, very powerful all, especially with how well Instinct's been playing, being able to push through and pick up a couple kills before being taken down by Carlton. And for the side of Carlton, they only have the Omen and the Killjoy ult. That Killjoy ult, the lockdown, could be super, super powerful if used correctly, just to, able to kind of retake a site here. But we'll see this A oh push goodness. come out. Tillo gonna find the first pick on Dive there, and it looks like Carlton does know it's an A push, but they are gonna have to back off here. Yeah, they're gonna back up, and we'll see if Instinct decides to pop his ult here. They did get one pick to Saints, and if they can push their advantage here, they'll have a 4v2 push onto the site, but they don't know that just yet. The Sky Dog is gonna be coming out. He's gonna spot out at least one. Saints, though, playing very, very hesitant, could even look to make their way into B, but Instinct is gonna peek out a bit too far. Juice was gonna find that pick and gonna pop the ulti. Now they know where all the members of the Saints are. Let's see if Juice World wants to open up this door. It's gonna be a pretty risky play, but he will be able to get out. The Saints just kind of stuck there, have no idea what to do. Sir Carlton are not over rotating. There's gonna be a huge flash coming out. Caillou finds the kill through the wall, spots out the Omen. He's gonna take him out as well, and the plant will surely go down right here. It's gonna be one kill off that ultimate. Won't be able to get it just yet, but both members of Carlton sitting in the spawn. I think they're gonna opt to save out the Vandals here for the last round of the half as this round is very, very unwinnable for them. Absolutely incredible flashing plays there by Caillou and by Omen as we did see the first Sky Flash comes in and Flash is raised and they were able to get that pick through the box and then the Omen blind comes through and Caillou was able to find that second pick onto the uh, uh, Carlton's Omen there. Still being blinded all that time later, but like you said, we are going to get a save here. But Arctic might be able to get a couple picks here and put a dent on the Saints, but it's not going to be able to do much. He's just, oh, great double kill there on Attilo and Giza, but, and Steven going to find Akiko there. Not really helping their economy that much, but Saints have all the money in the world to work with, whereas Carlton has to, has to buy as much as they can with what little they have. Yeah, they're going to be able to afford a couple of Vandals, but they're going to have a, gar a couple Guardians coming out as well. And Saints, with that Neon ulti, I believe, are going to just try, uh, try and get a Sky Ultimate off the of Ult Orb and just push a side. It looks like that's going to be the play coming out from them. There will be the Killjoy Ultimate available for Arctic on the defensive side, but you can see that he's set up on C, so the Saints can get the right read here and just full-on rush out this A with this Neon ulti could be very, very dangerous. Let's see what happens here. Dive going in yet again into the back. And if they have any idea, he's here. Yes, they see him. Mason's going to take him out. And Juice World's going to find him as well. But it's trades coming out everywhere in the end. Saints are a 3v2 situation. Find the Viper in mid. Caillou is going to be able to use that ultimate to his advantage. And going to get the plant down here. It's just Killjoy. Omen and Sky here, but Killjoy does have that ultimate on the side of the defense. Let's see if it will go down. Yes, there it is. It's gonna be a 1v1 here from Steven. Is gonna walk through that poison, but will make it out as Caillou tries to find the shots. They're onto the Killjoy, but all the Saints are forced off the site. Omen is gonna ultimate out of the Killjoy ultimate as well. It's gonna TP right back. Akio finds him, does get taken down. Now that's a 2v1 situation for Arctic. And it's gonna be Caillou and uh, such a good spot here. They're both gonna peek him, it feels like. Arctic has to get on his defuse, but that's such a good turret coming up from Giza. Kai, you're gonna go for the 1v1. Gonna hit him a couple times, but Giza has all the time to work with. He's gonna have to peek this one, and he's not sticking as Arctic can't, and Giza takes him out just like that. Saints with a very, very strong attacking uh, half, able to take a 10 2 lead, and the couple rounds they dropped was to pistols, so yeah. they're gonna be pretty happy with themselves in the end there. Yes, losing a couple rounds that they shouldn't lose uh, is gonna be something they wanna work on, especially against the best teams, but every other round, they were able to close it out. Absolutely here, and Steven just doing a great job, and so is Instincts there at the top of the leaderboard here, 15 and four and 14 and eight. Just absolutely carrying the squad right now, doing a great job playing perfectly and playing tactically, and. As we can see here, they they do have this impressive lead. They are now only three rounds away from victory. But like you said earlier, this is an attacker-sided map being three sites. It's hard for defenders to cover and rotate as quickly as other maps. But look, hopefully the Saints can kind of move their way around that. We're going to see a um, dominant B push here, but the spike is making its way towards C. This could be a great fake-out play for Carleton University as the Sky Dog is going to kind of give away where most of them are as Viper and Killjoy now make their way with Spike on the C, but it looks like Killjoy is going to be right there waiting for him. He's going to get a shot off, and so is that turret. 
Kiko not quite able to finish the job there. But now Tilla and Keys, I believe that is over there, are going to be able to help back on the site. Juice World and Caillou finding kills all over the place and trading each other in a 3v3 situation now. Spike is being planted onto C. They do have the site all to themselves, and Saints are going to try to take retake the site from many different angles. Yeah, going from all different angles, Giza on 30 HP here on the flank, knows that the entire team is right next to him. We're going to have to see a big flank from Sky here come in any second now, avoiding that bomb. So they have no idea the Sky is on the flank. Giza, they have idea he's here. But Saints find two picks and they know exactly where Arctic is. Sky's on low HP. It's going to be all on Steven. He finds the two shots onto Arctic there. Very, very close pistol round yet again if you look at the HP bars. But this time Saints able to find the right picks at the right time and take a uh, the first round here, gonna look to force up as much as they can in the second round to try and finish it out on the bonus. Let's see if the side of Carlton decide to save up or maybe force a couple stingers and go for a desperate play. Absolutely, like you said, Saints are gonna force up here. We're gonna see the better weapons coming out. Keys are gonna be the only one opting for a Vandal here, but doesn't stop the rest of the team buying Bulldogs. Uh, a Spectre, and it looks like we are going to see a little bit of a force here from Carlton's side. We do see a couple Spectres coming out. They could be very, very useful weapons, especially in a close range quarters, uh, such as B site and C site. So this could still work in their advantage here as they are going to go for a little bit of a default play here. Yeah, they're going to leave the spike behind and oh. Kiza is going to find one. Won't find the second, however, does get traded out. And if the side of Carlton can push up a little bit, that's going to be a weapon upgrade for them. Arctic's able to take out Inkstain as well, the Stingers. Now I think the Saints realize that Carlton has forced up this round and that they can't just take any gunfight expecting to win it. Caillou is going to be watching down mid here, but it's going to be Carlton moving over to Seaside. It's going to be all on this Viper to defend this side. Cantillo figure this one out. It won't be easy with all the Sky Util coming in here. There's a flash. Does not get spotted out. Doesn't get spotted out by anything. For sees their heads though and is going to back up. Is going to call for backup as well as the Saints are going to look to rotate over but that Killjoy is sitting mid. Won't be able to find anything. Caillou now moving on here and they still don't have the spike down. Can Caillou spot out anything through the smoke? The dog's going to be coming out and maybe Steven can push up with that. Yes, he surely will. He's just following that dog around. They make so much space for that. That's going to be a huge flash coming out there. Does get the flash. Does he have any idea this guy is in here? Arctic gets to Caillou and Steven is just side by side with this guy. He finds one. Can he find a second? No. Arctic finding three picks this round and that flank through the middle was so deadly. Able to find the fourth and just like that, Saints dropped the second round after winning the pistol round and will be broke in this next round. Down. Great play by Carlton there. Default play did work a little bit in their favor as they were able to find a couple picks uh, at different spots on the map. And inevitably, Arctic with a great flank there back on the site. But also, Spike being played for long, the rest of the team was all out in Sand Pit waiting. They didn't have to move anywhere and quite a nasty yeah. angle to be holding on C long when you can kind of yeah. not have to worry about getting back in sight. But it looks like it's going to be kind of the same play again. He's just going to want to try to find that one one shot headshot again, but not going to be doing so. Tillo oh, going to be able nice to take shot. out Arctic. If he pushes up, he can get himself a weapon, but he's going to opt to spike. back off. As he knows, Carlton is probably quick and watching already. But we are going to see Omen and so Instinct pushing oh, out here. No. He's uh, missing a couple shots. Going to be taken down by Akiko here. And Tillo ready there with the Sheriff as well. Not going to quite find anything yet, but... 4v4 situation, Akiko's gonna get the plant down. Instinct coming up the flank here. Nice oh, shot. finds a nice shot onto Ellis. The he's head. Gonna, oh, he's gonna almost take out Akiko. Spike hasn't been put down, he was able to delay it. But Juice World and Dive finding picks of their own. Now in a 1v2 situation, Tilla with just a Sheriff. He does know where the spike is and he knows possibly where the plant is coming from. He's gonna get spotted out by that Sky Flash. And they are gonna know he's gonna be in that direction. Does he see the one in the corner? He does. Finds oh, one. Oh, and he's going to be taken down by Juice World there. Well played by Tillo. Well played by Carlton, though, for that plant. It looks like the C push is their attacking push right now. And very close to getting that clutch. All he needed was one more shot with that Sheriff. He had one more left in his magazine, but just couldn't get the shot off. And Carlton able to take that one. Juice World trying to carry his team there, top ranking on the sky. But doing a good job in these last few rounds to take it back. We can see Steven, 18 and six, absolutely destroying on this map. Very nice performance from him, but the job is far from over. Saints will be able to get a full buy. 
And it's gonna be maybe ultimate coming out here from Instinct. Yes, there it is. Gonna look to play very aggressive here. He's gonna find one, but won't find any more as he gets traded out. Not the worst start for the side of the Saints as they take out the Rays. So neither team gonna be with their duelist in this round. But they are able to slow down the A push completely. Carlton are gonna have to maybe back out of this one and go for that C push yet again. Saints playing it smart here. Instinct opting to save there for most. Only bought a shorty at the beginning, knew, knowing he was going to use that alt. Made it count. Looks like Spike is going to make its way kind of towards B. They might even take door out to C. But Tillo's going to be there and ready, waiting around the corner. Steven's still up on this perch, waiting to see if anybody pushes through. Ellis is going to find Tillo, though. And they are going to re rotate back to A here, it looks like, and get this plant down. They may have completely baited the Saints here as they start to rotate towards B. Yeah, I, I think the Saints have no idea that they're looking for the A push. The Viper wall is down, so that could be a bit of a giveaway. Uh, but they're gonna hear the Sky Ult out and everyone's gonna rotate back. That Killjoy in mid is gonna be so, so crucial. Can he find a pick? No, he doesn't get it. Arctic's gonna get taken down by Steven. Last time he was able to find those picks on the flank. This time not able to, but the side of Carlton are on the side. Saints gonna look to retake. They're gonna have two coming from spawn, one from mid. And the Sky could get such a good flank here. Caillou is gonna have to go absolutely massive. All three members deciding to sit in that corner. He's going to get a lot of info with that flash, knowing that no members are out in the open. And all three members are sitting inside of that little room. If the Saints can just pinch them from all angles at the same time, it would be perfect. There's going to be a smoke coming out. Caillou's going to flip the switch. Has to be careful here. Giza finds one. Caillou not able to find the other, but tells his teammates that the other two members are sitting in that room. One is able to escape, but they're going to have to get onto the diffuse soon. There's going to be it going down. Do they know that he's on it? They're thinking he's faking it. They're not even shooting into it. Steven finds one. It's going to find the other for the 3K. And beautiful team play there from the Saints. Carlton playing a bit interestingly, all hiding inside of that room. And the smoke's just so, so vital. They're Saints on map point with a 12-4 lead. Just absolutely incredible play there. Carlton played that so well, trying to rotate quickly and bait out the Saints into thinking it was a B push, but in fact, turning around and going back to A. But that Sky Alt might have been the giveaway as to where they're coming from, and Caillou is ready there in the middle for the call out there, able to let his team know exactly what was happening. As we get into this next round, we are going to see a little bit of a save from Carlton, which is unfortunate, being that it is match point, and they have to now spend everything they can couple Guardians. Giza going to find a quick pick on a dive and that may seal the deal for this game. That might be it. Arctic does have a Vandal of his own. He's going to look to get a trade here onto Giza, but Giza playing so, so well this map, finding the picks when they matter. It's going to be the side of Carlton just ulting C. Giza's going to look for the peak, but doesn't find the kill. Can't hit these shots, but is he going to be able to find? Oh my goodness. I don't know why. Arctic jump, but he's going to look to destroy the Killjoy ulti, and he will be able to the side of Carlton. Allowing that to happen. Giza finding three. Maybe he can find the A single handily. One more shot for him. Can he find it? Oh, he just misses it. Teal Tillo's going to help him out there. Beautiful performance there by the Saints. And very swiftly, it'll able to take map one away from Carlton now on match point. That was absolutely perfect playing by the St. Clair College by St. Clair College, and I think we both expect to, to, for that to happen quite a bit. As we look at the scoreboard here, Steven and Giza doing a great job at the top there. Steven going 21, 6, and 9, and Giza going 18, 12, and 3, doing the absolute most for bringing this team to where they need to be and getting it back into good shape. Instinct doing a great job there, 16 and 12, Caillou 13 and 10, and Tillo 9 and 11, the only person there that went negative, but still huge contributions there, able to set up Viper walls and utility to help the Saints get to where they needed to go. It was an all-around great play from the Saints there in this first map, and I think we can expect to see that again in the second. Absolutely, I cannot disagree with you there. Saints got off to a bit of a rough start losing the first round, but after that, well, able to win, went out for a long time. I think they got six in a row there, so... A good start for St. Clair is what they need, and they can snowball these leads very, very quickly. With Even with the pistols, they're able to find the picks, able to find the kills that they mm -hmm. need, and just take over from there. Absolutely. Having a couple thrifty round wins, if I'm not mistaken, for both sides, for both too. Sides, yeah. For both sides. Carlton had one of their own as well. Um, those are definitely big for getting good energy going throughout the team. Having those thrifty wins could be huge, but Saints just dominated eco-wise this whole time. They were able to buy Vandals, full shields, almost every round they did not get slowed down once but even though Carlton was able to take four rounds Saints just powered through and said okay our turn yeah 
and a very good map from our Saints. They're going to be happy with that one. We're going to throw it to a very quick break, but we'll be right back with map two. Don't go anywhere.
Welcome back, everybody, to uh, a little bit of intermission before game two. Uh, Saints were able to take the first one 13 4 in dominant fashion. And what are we expecting here for game map two? I'd hopefully like to see the same. I think our Saints can definitely take this series in a nice 2 0 sweep here. And if anything happens like it did in that last map, we should expect to see the same. And on split here, now being a two site map, it's a little more. Uh, less sorry less attacker side a little more defender sided but we're gonna see a little bit of an interesting comp here geese is gonna pick up that cypher and it looks like carlton's gonna do the same here i believe that will be arctic on the cypher if he chooses to lock it in there we are gonna see a lot of the standard picks here caillou back on that sky tillo now opting for the viper steven's gonna go with a breach instinct's gonna take rays over neon this time and on the side of carlton we're gonna see Cypher is now going to be locked in, and we're going to see the Rays, Sky, Omen, and Viper as well. It's a little bit of a uh, mix-up here for both teams. Yeah, Steven not going to be on that Omen on this map, playing the Breach so, so strong on this map. Mm -hmm. And uh, Saints viping not to, um, opting not to go for that Viper, but we're going to see Carlton yet again have that Viper. Maybe not as strong on this map as the previous but we're going to get into it right here. We're going to have Saints on the attack. Carlton on the defense. What do you think the Saints should do to start off this game? Well, obviously, these first two rounds very oh, crucial. Want to get this pistol round under their belt. Uh, Carlton has had a little bit better luck with the pistol rounds, but Saints may have be able to overcome that. And especially on split, Saints are very comfortable here. They know what they're doing. And they've played this map many times and won many times. So I think they're just going to go for a standard here. And it looks like they're setting up to go for a B push. And the Carlton are there three stacking B as well. So we could see a bit of a shootout here. Carlton in these pistols rounds has made it very, very competitive. We've seen two of them this match so far. It's going to be just Omen pushing up on his lonesome. But he will be able to survive the initial attack. Tillo trying to just get out instead of shooting back and Steven's gonna die for his troubles. Instinct's gonna go down and Kai's gonna go down just like that. Saints are dropping like flies. One Only one remaining. member left. It's just a lonesome Cypher in mid. Giza is gonna find nobody and Carlton with a flawless to start off the map here. Very, very strong start for them. Pistol rounds seem to be their specialty and they're now gonna hit almost completely buy up here. We're gonna see Ellis and Juice World pick up a couple of Vandals and try to get the ball rolling for the rest of this half here. As we are also gonna see some Bulldogs come out and it looks like Arctic might opt for a little bit of a save here, try, try to save some economy, yeah. but all Sheriffs on the side of the Saints and they hope to find the thrifty round here. Gonna be a bit of a tough battle here yeah. in these next couple of rounds. Yeah, last game the Saints were able to get the thrifty in the second round after dropping the initial one. But Carlton just playing so well, just aggressively on the defense, able to push up B last round and find those picks. The Saints were surely not ready for that as now. There's going to be shots fired in mid. Steven going to lose half his HP. But Instinct is there to help him out if it is needed. The spike is down on A. And Giza's going to take out Arctic. And so will Instinct take out Juice World just like that. I'm getting a bit of deja vu now. Saints have a 5v3 situation. And fully pushed up onto A. There's going to be a huge gunfight there between the Cypher and Raze. Kai is going to find the Omen. And remains. Giza's going to find the Raze. And just like that, the Saints make it a 5v1. The Spike's going to be planted on A. And the Saints able to bring this round from nothing to something. And they're going to be looking to take a strong hold on this map too. Getting a bit of deja vu from last map. To be Absolutely. They are going to be able to grab some better guns here too from... The fallen Carlton University players. Uh, Akiko gonna find a pick on Nagisa there, stopping the flawless thrifty round, but he's spotted now. Oh, so, oh he's gonna find instinct. Hopefully the Saints don't push him one by one here, especially since he's rocking a bulldog, but he is getting flanked. And he might not know. Steven gonna try to find a couple shots here to keep him delayed. Here we go, and there we go. Tillo sneaking up slowly behind, and he picked up a Vandal for mid. And now, thrifty round for Saints. And like you said, Deja Vu, that's exactly what it is. They are able to close out that second round easily. I feel like the only way the Saints lose rounds is when Carlton just play uh, out of the ordinary. Like the full push on B with three members. Look, they're stacking now towards that A side. Probably going to push out there. But if the Saints uh, aren't where Carlton expect them to be, this, they're going to have a free sight on B here if they can go quickly. So it's going to be a save round as well from uh, Carlton. They don't have any money 
and our Saints are going to look to push throughout mid and B. They have no idea <laughs> that they are four stacked onto A. That's going to be a big flash. Now they have some uh, info. They might know that the Viper is up on Heaven here, and they're going to be pushing up mid slowly. Absolutely. A nice little one-way there set up from Viper to try to get some some of these shots off here. Arctic going to be stuck in that mid vent room there. Just waiting. He's going to want to see if he's a shorty pushes here. <laughs> he's got the short and he's got the trap wire set up. Ooh, Giza going to lose a lot of health, but Instinct going to be able to find Ooh, a Kiko. And Giza finds Juice World. Ellis going to be able to trade out there for one, but 4v3 for the Saints. They're in a good spot here. Steven going to go down to dive though in mid there. And dive's going to be able to get a better upgrade as Spike goes down. The rest of Carlton's going to try to find the retake here from Heaven and from Main. Tillo going to be waiting back there with the Omen though, but he's going to be taken out by Dive as he was able to find a Vandal now. And Arctic's going to be finding Instinct. Caillou able to trade him out, but now a 1v2 situation, a little bit of a flip here. He's going to have to take one. Finds Dive, does he find oh, a second? What a headshot! Beautiful flick from Caillou, his third in the round, an amazing clutch to take the lead here in this second game. We almost saw the back-to-back -back thrifties there, but Caillou with an absolute insane flick there on the omen there is going to be such a big momentum swing in this map. Saints now are going to be feeling so good. Ch Carlton will have money to buy up here, but Saints playing a bit risky there with the weapons, almost losing that round. Not going to be too happy with themselves with that one, but we're going to see the ultimate from Giza is going to be available if they get an opening pick here on A. We'll find out where the rest of Carlton are, but it's going to be Saints playing very, very slow on the offense on this map. A very interesting to see Carlton being the more aggressive team and finding some uh, very, very important picks, but Saints in the end able to close out these rounds. It's going to be a big push coming out here. Sky is going to be spraying through that alongside the Rays, but they're not able to find anything. And Instinct finds a pick onto mid. Viper's going to take out Giza, however, so it is a one-for-one -one Viper below on HP. But not going to be able to find Inkstick in the mid, and Saints are looking to push out mid, I guess, with the bomb. Not going to push it into beat site. Absolutely. They probably want to look for a rotate here. Cypher for Carlton on the other side, just waiting on A for that right inevitable rotate. But it looks like they might want to try and push up Heaven a little bit here and try to find a Kiko here and take him out as he's been so strong in these first couple rounds. And as they creep up here, going to get a little shot off, but Caillou going to find Juice World. Instinct gonna find a Kiko, all the util going down to try and get him out of this. Oh, and now a 1v3 situation as Dive goes down to Instinct. Cypher gonna have to rotate through spawn back towards B now as Spike goes down. Caillou able to get that down. He's gonna heal up the rest of his team. Big heal there. And Arctic gonna find that first pick on a Steven making a 1v2. Can he clutch here? They know where he is. They're both looking at Heaven, waiting for it. Looks like Instinct just slowly waiting behind that box, but Arctic not gonna know he's there. He's gonna make a little oh. noise, gets the first one on an Instinct. And who do we got We Oh, sorry, Caillou here waiting behind the box. He's gonna try to half this. He might even stick it here. No, he's gonna get off after the half. He's got a little bit of time. Caillou, once again, gonna clutch up here, find that pick on Arctic and take another round for Saints. If he stuck that, I believe he would have had it. So mm -hmm. uh, a bit of a... Just hard, it's hard to just stick it. I know how hard yep. it is. It's not easy, especially when you have no idea where the opponent's coming from. Caillou able to take his time and uh, probably just outsmarted him. Knew that he was going to hop off and look for the kill on low HP. And able to clutch up that round yet again. But these rounds are very, very close. The Saints, for the first time in a while, seem to have a very dominant uh, weapon lead here. They're going to have the... Vandals that they're gonna hard push the Cypher 5v1. He's running for his life and he's gonna be able to make it out alive. That means the Saints know that they are able to push onto B side. It's just Akio alone, but Giza finding Ooh. two flankers on his lonesome. It's gonna be a push onto Viper. He's able to spot out the Rays, but the Saints are they rotating over to A here? Yes, they are. They're hitting him with a bit of a fake and they're saying, You guys want to flank us? We're flanking you instead. Tillo finds one of his own and it's gonna beat the Viper up mid. Can the Saints? Find the pick onto him here. Do they know he's there? They're going to be pushing the Cypher. They know the way, like, exactly where he is. He has the weapon, but he does get spot out. All three members able to take him down. And go, we'll find one. And now it's a 1v3 situation, but Steven will take him out. Just like that, Saints take a 4-1 lead. And let's keep the momentum going and close this, uh, uh, this half out 
a very strong performance. Absolutely. On the side of Carlton, they've got, almost got all their ultimates ready and on the board here. Juice World just a little bit behind, only by three ult points, whereas the Saints only have the Ray Showstopper and Cypher's ultimate, which is yeah. Always been very powerful, being able to spot the whole team and where they are in two different moments in time. But Arctic gonna do a complete B setup here, get the tripwires down to help slow the Saints down as they do look for a little bit of a default play here, leaving the spike in sewer. Just gonna try to find a couple picks and figure out which is the best site to attack first. Yeah, they like taking mid control. The Saints is one thing we've seen so far in this series. A side is left completely open from the side of Carlton. There is a Viper just sitting there up top, but the Saints playing this one very, very slow. Probably gonna move over towards A side if I had to guess. Yes, they are going to do that. Giza able to make up so much space. He's gonna have a crucial 1v1 here against that Viper. The Viper will put the wall up, which allows Giza to move up a little bit. The Viper wall's going down and the Viper has no idea he went across there. So Giza could be in a prime spot here, maybe when the Omen peeks out. He knows exactly where that Omen is because I believe that dog spotted him out. Let's see if Giza can find the pick. If he's gonna peek this at the right time, he should get it. Yes, nice two shots to the head. He gets the ultimate out. He's not able to find the raise, but does get his ult off. So the Saints know exactly where everyone from Carlton is. Should get this plant down for free, and they're gonna look to hold on and take this round. Absolutely perfect ultimate timing there for Giza. Although he did unfortunately go down. Great shot by Kayu as he finds the head of Akiko and takes him out very swiftly. The rest of Carlton stuck in this heaven area, trying to push through and get back onto the site. Flashes galore coming out. Till is gonna find one. He finds two. Will he find the third? He's pushing up. He's looking for the headshot. He's got just the pistol left. Pushing through the smoke and he oh. finds the third. Juice World gonna take out. I believe that was instinct there, kind of quickly and in an odd fashion, but great play by Tillo there as he finds three headshots to end that round and give Saints a four round lead. Very, very well played by the Saints there. Giza able to get his ultimate off. Yes, he did die, but giving so much information to the side of the Saints. Now we're gonna see a full A rush from the Saints, I believe. And the side of Carlton are three stacking this B side. So the Saints are just gonna look to get onto the site as soon as possible. They have a couple ultimates to use if they need. Carlton have three. The Saints are gonna get that dog out, trying to get some information. They're gonna know the Cypher's up here. Oh, he's in the smoke, so maybe they don't spot him out. But they're gonna go onto the site quickly. There's the Razor coming out. It won't find anyone, because there's nobody here. The Saints should get the plant down as soon as possible as the side of Carlton are rotating over and Arctic only has a stinger up here on the flank. Able to get in a very, very good position and could find the pick if he just sits there. We could see the Sky sitting in the spawn waiting for those flanks, but this time Carlton not flanking at all. All gonna come out from main. They are in a bit of a save round, so they don't have the big weapons to work with Giza. He's gonna be able to find two picks. There's gonna be shots coming out here from Caillou. He's able to find one. Caillou Instinct finds one as well. Now it's a 5v1 situation. Dive up top here. He's gonna get flashed a couple times. Finds one. Finds Ooh. two headshots. Very nice shots from him. He's gonna get flashed out, and Giza yet again able to find the headshot there. Saints taking a 6-1 lead, looking very, very strong in this game too. Good play by Dive there. Able to find two headshots with that Sheriff. will give him a little extra money boost here going in this next round. Carlton gonna buy up all the way here, but using up most of their credits to do so. So once again, this six to one position no here. And they're not calling one. Last not, game they called yeah, one and they won, you know? It's true, yeah. Gonna opt for a little bit of different play. Maybe they've realized that maybe there is nothing they can do against <laughs> the Saints here, but they are gonna use this round as kind of a last ditch effort here in this half. After this, it might be too late for them to kind of make their way back in. We're gonna see a full eight push again. Oh, a couple picks going out. Giza finding one and Juice World finding the trade there. And 4v4 now. Viper Ult is down on A for the side of Carlton, so Saints are just gonna back up a little bit and gonna choose to go over to B. They will have the man advantage if they go quickly, but the Viper is gonna leave her pit a little bit early. Might go back in there for a couple more seconds to keep that up. But it's gonna be Elias here with the Omen. Playing very, very aggressively up here. And he gets flashed out. It's gonna be forced to back up, but it's gonna drop a smoke on top of himself to make sure the Saints can't just walk in for free. But the Saints have the numbers advantage. The Sky Ult is coming out from the side of Carlton, however, so they're gonna get slowed down. And now everyone from the side of Carlton is moving over here. The Viper is finally leaving that pit. No, maybe gonna go back to it. Saints, maybe you're gonna rotate back towards A, but the Viper Pit is down now, so they could go through A pretty easily if they want to. Michael up mid here, 
and have to go pretty quickly as they only have 38 seconds. They still need to get that spike down. They have a feeling that someone is sitting in mid here. Going to use all the utils to take heaven, but there's nobody sitting in heaven. There's the breach ultimate coming out, using so much on this attack. Both players stunned up there. It's going to oh. get hit by the tripwire, but Steven and Tillo are able to get a couple of picks for him. Inkstead had no idea what was going on there, but is able to make it on the point alive. And just like that, it's a 4v2 for the side of the Saints. Oh, Tillo with a great pick there. Great flick onto Akiko, going to take him out, putting in a 1v4 situation here for Ellis as he is just waiting in the back there. He might opt to save, but he's got someone pushing up now. He gets flashed, and Tillo going to find another 3k on this round. And great job he hit again. <laughs> kind of an interesting animation there of Instinct going through the tripwire yeah. with the boost pack and then kind of bungeeing back towards it. Kind of kind of got stuck there, but Steven was there right there. And here we go. Timeout starting for Carlton. Great time to call it. Down 7-1. They really need to figure out what's going on and what they need to do to get back in this game because it's do or die here on this map. Yeah, it is do or die. And it is a defense-sided map being mm -hmm. down 7-1 on the defensive end is not what you want to see at all. And Carlton are going to need this time out. They don't have any money, I believe, either since they just fall no. bought. So they're going to have a bit of a scuffed buy here. Mm -hmm. And our Saints are just looking very, very strong, trying to close this one out quickly and move on to day two. Absolutely. And I think they know they can do it too. They've really gotten in the heads of Carlton here, having been able to take a very dominating lead. 7-1 is... Uh, six point lead and they only a couple more rounds in the half if they can get this to an 11 one lead in the half that would just be absolutely incredible and i think it would really really seal the deal for st Clair college today but we still got lots of valorant to play and carlton now taking a timeout might be able to put a disruptor in this momentum and possibly find a round like they did in the last map. Yeah, as you said, last map, they were able to come off a timeout and take a round for themselves. So maybe we'll see something of the similar sort this time. They won't have any weapons. Let's see what they decide to do. They're not choosing to maybe go for a rush like they did last time. Maybe going to play a bit more passive this time. They are going to force stack this A site. And there's going to be the push coming up from the Sky Dog. But this nade is going to do so much damage from both sides. Tillo going to TP across as Dive is caught up in that. Can Tillo find anyone? Does he have any idea that they're all right next to him? He does get flashed out, but now he's going to be able to find one, find two. He's going to try and TP oh. out, but there's so many more. Steven finds one, and the last two members from Charl Carlton are right there. But Saints are going to move over. Giza on the super flank with that Cypher is going to find this race pretty easily. Oh. And it's just going to be a 1v1 here against the Omen. Just going to peek, but get his head taken off. Now we're going to see Steven in the spawn with that... Uh, Breach is going to be able to look for the shots here onto Elias and does, is able to get it. Timeout for Carlton. They didn't find too much for them there and St. Clair able to shut it down. Saints didn't even want to plant that spike. They were head hunting that round. Giza with an incredible flank there was able to find one. And although you'd think that Steven might take the spike to B and just get the plant down for the 300 credits, he says, you know what, we don't need it. We're pretty well maxed out here. Let's just find these heads, get these guys out of the game as they've been doing so well. And now Carlton gonna be able to buy up with Vandals and Phantoms again, but using all their credits to do so. Where on the side of the Saints, they are gonna be close to maxed out very soon. He's an incredible headshot on Juice World to start this round off. Here comes the Showstopper. It's gonna find him right back there. Great play by Dive as he uses that ultimate to perfection. Yeah, Giza stuck in no man's land with that Cypher. Has no way of getting out of the way of that ult. We're going to see a couple picks coming out from Carlton, actually. And Saints on this attack have a sight. So that is a positive, but it's going to be a very hard round to right win. There. Carlton seems to have absolutely no idea where the Saints are and are all rotating over to B. Saints are going to waste a bit of U till not knowing where they are. But they should just get the spike down as soon as possible. I'm not too sure what they're waiting on, and there it is. Oh, Tillo getting way too aggressive there. The spike is going to go down, but Steven in those 1v4. Going to be a near impossible clutch to pull off. There is nobody even near this site yet, but there are two players on the flank. And Steven's going to have to hear them coming. He doesn't. He's going to try and take this heaven position, but he needs to go quickly. Yes, he will. He'll be able to make it up here, but he didn't plant for heaven. He can't see the spike from up here, so... Maybe not the best position to be, so he's definitely fully confused. There's going to be a Viper wall as well. He's going to be able to take out one, but that nade is not going to be locked onto Spike. There is nobody near him. You see, the final play could have maybe clutched it out, but side of Carlton, able to get one back. Saints may, maybe playing just a that tiny bit too aggressive. 
it's it's very common here for our Saints to get into this kind of position in a game and in a series where they're up so much that they want to try to have a little bit of fun while they can. And I don't know how he does it, but Instinct able to fly through and get into their spawn in yeah. under 20 seconds and try to find some picks there. And that's the second time that the Saints have done that now, being able to just absolutely take the whole map to themselves. And here... They know that the A side is going to be a little bit weak as Carlton just hasn't been favoring it at all. And a five-man rush here could do them good as it is a 5v1 on the site. Cypher left all alone to defend by himself. Here comes the Viper wall. Very crucial. Cages are coming out. Instinct going to push right in. Doing what he does best is raise. And once again, he has basically taken their spawn. But does he know the Omen is right there to his right? And he's going to have a lot of players on the left here. A couple of Saints drop early and it's looking rough for them yet again. They get on the site, but don't get the time down. Caillou going to find a huge pick. Giza finds one back. Dive is going to take him. Giza and Caillou is going to get taken out as well. 3v1 situation for Steven. They know exactly where he is. Let's see if he can find the shots. He's going to be pushing through this smoke very, very soon. Now he fires off a shot, and there's going to be a shot coming up from Steven. Finds one, is able to stay alive. If he gets one more, he will have that ultimate, but the defuse is coming down. Is he going to be able to find the stun? Yes, he will, but it is get, does get half weight. They are going to be looking for the shots here. Steven able to find one, but won't find the shots on them. And it's going to be yet another round going on Carlton. They can make this an 8 4 half, could make this very uh, interesting on the attack. Absolutely, I think it's uh, especially going into this final round of the half. Both teams able to fully buy now as Saints have kind of given them um, a little bit of eco over the past couple of rounds. It's time for the Saints to maybe slow down a little bit, take a breather, not try to feel the need to close this out too quickly as they do have another half to deal with. And on the defending side, who knows what could happen here. But both teams able to full buy here. All the Vandals, all the shields, and one Phantom on the board for Tillo. This is going to be incredible. Here comes another five-man push, but the Viper Pit might make them say no. They're all going to push through the Viper Pit just that quickly. He may even go down here. Akiko's just going to leave his pit all alone. A perfect way to stop these Saints, but it just did absolutely nothing there. Caillou and Giza going to push up to heaven. Tillo and Instinct, or sorry, Steven have now taken the site and are going to put the plant down. Dive finding a pick on Giza there. 3v5 for the Saints. Once again, pushing through and maybe pushing a little too fast here as all of Carlton's up in heaven. And Caillou going to be able to find one before he's taken out. Ellis taking out Steven, leaving it in a 1v4 situation. Not the way Saints wanted this to go, but Dive is going to find him there. And this first half will end 8-4. Saints were looking very, very strong, but the last three rounds, Carlton able to take them all on, in a row. St. Clair just couldn't find anything on these last few attacking rounds, but it is a defense side of map, as we have stated time and time again. Let's see what happens in this pistol round. Carlton so far have won two of these. The Saints have won one. So if the Saints drop this pistol round, this could be a very, very close match. Absolutely. They are... Carlton only down four rounds now, and if they take this pistol round, only down three. They could use the Econ to pull them back into it, but we are going to see if the Saints actually stay true to this being a defender-sided map and being able to dominate on the defense side. They are only five rounds away from victory here, and they have the ability to close it out. They just need to play a little bit smart and not try to get too ahead of themselves here, especially when they take these big leads. Absolutely. They cannot be playing too too aggressive and make dumb mistakes it's going to be a full push coming up from carlton here that's going to be a great stun there yep. and saints are going to find one find two. Oh my, oh my goodness instinct finding four and in a couple of seconds it's a 3v2 or 2v1 situation i apologize it's going to be arctic against the world here that nade from instinct able to find so much value but the fact that carlton were able to trade back Three kills of their own there is impressive nonetheless. We're gonna, he's gonna get spotted out and now it's gonna be hard for Arctic. He's gonna have to find this tab. Dozen's not able to find it. He's gonna run away. That's not a challenge he wants to take. But the Saints are a bit head hunting. Uh, they're gonna push through here, but they're not gonna be able to take him out. Steven finds the kill. And we expected fireworks, fireworks. We got Instinct finding four kills that round. Two with his nade. Absolutely great play by the Rays there in Saints will be able to take the first pistol around and look to keep the ball rolling. Absolutely, but kind of an interesting buy setup here. It looks like Saints... Oh, no, ne never mind. Here come the Vandals now. 
Insane gonna opt to buy a Vandal here. A couple more Bulldogs coming out as well. Whereas Carlton now on the save side. If, funny enough, Carlton won both opening pistol Little rounds of each map. Yeah. And Saints won the second half pistol rounds. Kind of a give and take here. Saints gonna go for this strong B push yet again. But this time they have B main all to themselves. No contestion whatsoever. And Giza gonna try to sneak up mid here. He also is not being contested except by... Uh, instinct in that corner. Oh, I'm sorry, I keep forgetting the flip side here. <laughs> instinct able to take out Arctic there. Great defense, defensive play here. Carlton gonna have to push through mid now, but now everyone is collapsing on this mid. It is gonna be an absolute firefight here. Kai was gonna spot out a couple of them with the dog. And boom, one, two. Instinct able to find one. Steven able to find two for himself, making it a 4v1 situation now. Akiko all alone. He's going to try to find the snake bites here. He's going to get a couple hits off, but not enough as Caillou finds him with the Bulldog. And Saints now up 10 to 4. And as expected, Saints able to take the second round after with the pistol round. If you look at the kills, you can see Died playing very, very well this game 17 and 11. Mm -hmm. But the Saints have a very, very balanced kill uh, participation. Everyone has at least 10 kills. So just great team play coming out from the Saints. Not really one standout player, just hard fragging and right. carrying. So great team play from them, using the util perfectly and are gonna have a 10-4 lead here. Now this had a Carlton are really gonna have to find something on this round because if they drop this one, this game's as good as over. Instinct coming in with that Razor hits a wall but is able to give enough of a distraction for Steven to get a kill there. Will be able to pick up a weapon for himself as well as it's gonna be uh, some fights toward mid. Tillo's gonna find one, will drop. That's gonna be a huge oh. raise and they have to get out of there. Taking a bit of damage, not taking too much damage though. It's gonna be a shot from Dive coming in and won't find anything. Carlton will get the plan down as all the Saints are mid. They're all going to be rotating through heaven and they're just going to be jumping into the site. Let's see if the Saints can find any picks here. Instinct's going to look for something on the raise. Do they not see him there? Dive, finding the pick there. Finding two picks there on low HP. Getting a headshot as well there onto Instinct. Doing so much on this raise. There's going to be a shot coming out from Giza. Can he find this raise around the corner? Maybe we'll get a tap going. Now it's a 1v1 situation. And Elias choking those shots. Instinct getting the, the, the flick onto him. And I think that is the nail in the coffin right there. If mm -hmm. Carlton were going to go for a comeback, that was the round to do it. But Saints stopped them in their tracks and are now two rounds away from taking this matchup. Incredible plays here. from both sides there. Uh, Carlton had finally able to get onto site and put the plant down. Doing a great job there. Kind of adding a little extra momentum. But... A couple of those early plays right in the beginning of that round really set the tone. Giza with a double kill of his own. He's been kind of a standout player here on the Cypher too even. Um, doing a great job on flanks and with flank control um, especially. And now Carlton going to try this A site to see how it fares for them. It works so well for the Saints. Maybe it'll do the same. But Giza going to find that first pick on a dive. Quickly traded out by Arctic. And Caillou waiting. Gonna find a great headshot of his own, but he's gonna be pushed away by that snake bite. Gonna send out a flash to try and slow down Carlton while the rest of the Saints can push up here. And the side of Carlton are playing the same the whole series. The Saints surely pick up on it. When they stack, they stack right hard. They don't flank too much as the Viper's gonna find a pick on the instinct. But Caillou and Steven are gonna be able to close this round on the sa for the Saints. And just like that, we are on match point. It's uh, four rounds again for Carlton. If Saints can close it out, it would be an identical scoreline to last map. So the Saints will want to do that. We're going to see Inkstinct with the Operator on raise. Not something you see too often on this map, but definitely feeling himself just a little bit. And the Saints have a full by Carlton. Three Guardians, a Bulldog and a Vandal. Not looking too good for them. They do have a raise ult and an Omen ult, so maybe could find some huge individual plays there. But Saints are going to three stack A. It's going to be just Tillo on the defense here on B. He's going to see the whole team of Carlton here. And he's going to tell his team, guys, come for backup immediately. Giza finds a pick mid onto the Viper. That's a huge pick up there. And Instinct's going to look looking for the no scopes through the smoke here. Won't be able to find anything. Now the ulti's going to be coming out. Giza takes out Juice World. Instinct's going to just fly in there, pick up the Guardian, look for the wall bank, pick up the Operator Giza, getting his third kill of the round. Tello finding one is just a raise on the side. Finding two, however, but Caillou is going to take him down. And just like that, in no time, it feels like Saints are able to take this 2-0 victory over Carlton and continue on to top eight. Was that a 13-4 both rounds? Yeah, both that was maps. Two both maps. <laughs> Very consistent plays here from Saints. Absolutely incredible, though. As we could see, 
Dive really putting his neck out for that for Carlton and this map going 21 and 14 and being yeah. the match MVP. Unfortunately, it just wasn't enough as the Saints led mostly by Giza here, especially in those late rounds going 19 and 13, doing an absolutely great job for St. Clair College. They were able to just close out the series so well. And they, like you said, especially more so in this map, the team play was just on point, having those utility combos, the breach and the raised paint shells coming in huge in a couple of those rounds. It was just an all-around great game from the Saints. Without a doubt, the Saints showing a dominant performance and very, very well played by them. Going to be moving on to the tournament. Uh, in the tournament, Carlton is now out of the tournament, and that is going to be that. Our Saints are going to look to... Uh, can we get a quick look at the bracket, maybe, and then see who our Saints are going to be going up? I forgot who they could be playing against. Yeah, we have Clark. There it is. So yeah, we will either be playing the we'll be playing the winner of Clark Pride or Kansas Esports, which they are also currently in a match. We will have to see at the end of today who they play. And tomorrow they will be taking on that winner to eventually move on to the next round. Which obviously I think it'll be a dominating performance tomorrow as well. Of course, yeah, our Saints looking so strong, looking to keep the momentum rolling, and uh, yeah. Um, I, be I believe we're going to have a quick interview. So we're going to go to a very, very quick break, but don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back with some player and coach interviews. Hello, everybody, and welcome back for a little bit of a post-game special interview here. We got Caillou, one of our standout players here on the Varsity Valorant team, and great job today, first of all, in that match. Just absolutely perfection. Um, just a couple quick questions. Um, what would it mean for you and for the rest of the team to qualify for CVAL? 
Uh, it would mean a lot because, uh, you know, obviously we're working hard to make it to there. We kind of fell short last year, so we're trying to make it up. And we've been working hard for it, yeah. Right on. Uh, very well said. And uh, another question. You guys are ranked fourth in the power rankings in North America Collegiate Valorant. How do you guys, how do you feel on that placement? Uh, me personally, I think we should be one or two. And that's what we're going to work to. We just haven't played the top three teams above us yet. So once we play them and beat them, we're going to move up the ranks. Absolutely, and kind of an interesting one here for you. How'd you come up with your gamer tag? Caillou. Uh, it was a name that I took from uh, Rust. Uh, there's a video game I played on called Rust. And it was just a guy that was very good, and I stole his name, and it kind of, <laughs> you know, went. That's the honest way. Yeah. Made it your own kind of a famous yeah. name now here too around Saint Clair. Yeah. Now I got the bald buff. You know, even though I'm not bald. <laughs> And uh, one last question. That was a pretty, pretty dominant series. Are there any specific moments that maybe stood out to you where you could feel like the, the momentum of the game just fully switched in your favor? Uh, we just honestly having fun. <laughs> we, we, know, we know they're not as good as us, I could say that. And we just go there and have fun. We just play our game. You know, everyone knows what they're doing. We practice this 100 times over. And yeah, just have fun. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for today. And once again, absolutely great job. Took that series with a beautiful sweep there 2-0 um, and before we close it out for tonight obviously big thank you to our sponsors as per usual Subway Tim Hortons the Alumni Association and the SRC doing a great Tim job Hortons as always. Too. And, oh and Tim Hortons can't forget that one um, doing a great job as always and helping us out here and big shout out to the people in the back room production we got Daniil Tommy and Ari today on observing doing a great job as always and it's been a fun one here today. It's been a fun one. We also want to uh, make sure you guys don't... Uh, my brain's exploding. <laughs> I apologize. Uh, we just want to make sure you're up to date for everything. Here's the Scho Scholars Award. If you want to vote, all you have to do is go to the website. You don't have to make an account or anything. We are nominated for Program of the Year. And uh, it's a huge honor to even be nominated, but if we could win it, this would be absolutely massive for our program. We've made so much progress in the last few years, and we're not looking to slow down anytime soon. Uh, and if you want to stay up to date with all Saints action, follow us on Saints Gaming CA on all socials. We post there all the time, and uh, we post updates to our scores. Even our academy games are even getting posted as well. So a lot of Saints action there. With all that being said, we're going to be back here tomorrow for another game of Seaval. We're going to be casting these boys yet again. They're going to look to bring it back and take this tournament home. It was fun to watch today. Thank you, Caio, again for such an amazing performance. And we'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. Don't miss anything.